Jay Drone here, and this is the X18 Space Explorer, and this is a our charged battery test. The one before this was an uncharged battery test to give you a RTF right out of the box, ready to fly, uh, range of time of what this 350 mAh LiPo battery from Flycool would give you, and it gave us about seven and a half minutes of time, which is uh, pretty awesome. That's right out of the box, not charged. So we're doing another test. This is to see max time. I just charge this battery. I let it cool down uh, for about minutes, two minutes, actually probably a little bit longer than that. But you should always let your batteries, after done charging, not go right out and fly. Let them sit for like a minute or two minutes and then go fly. Same thing with discharging. If you discharge your battery, bring it inside and before you put it on the charger, let it sit for like a minute or two minutes. Um, that's best for these smaller LiPo batteries. I'm sure the same applies to the larger LiPo batteries. But again, this is 350 mAh from Flycool and got like seven and a half minutes not charged. We're going to see what we get right here. If this flight does end at seven and a half minutes, that is the flight time and the batteries did come charged. Um, most batteries don't come charged. It's highly advised against to send charged batteries because of uh, lipo failure getting too hot getting bounced around you don't want a fully charged battery as you can see this flies very nicely if you didn't check out the last video check it out kind of similar to this video I do have a little bit more wind uh, wind is blowing let's see it's blowing like northeast which is to the left of me left and backwards This is a really cool quadcopter. I haven't flown it too, too much just because I haven't had spare batteries for it, and I've been basically just keeping it as a charge the entire drone type thing because the wire sticks out of it and I had a battery door compartment with a screw and a camera on it, and I really didn't want to mess around with it. But I got these batteries that are 100 mAh higher than what was in it, so I definitely wanted to try it out. And as you can see, this does well in the wind. Um, it does keep getting pushed back to the left, but we're able to fight. There's no real issue. If you have this quadcopter and it's moderate wind, five to six mile an hour, you should be able to fly it. Now, if you're in an open field, five to six mile an hour is going to be a lot stronger than five to six mile an hour is right here. I have trees and houses to the right of me kind of blocking the wind. And if you're completely out in the wide open, you're going to be more exposed and the wind will be stronger, per se. I mean, 5 to 6 mile an hour winds, 5 to 6 mile an hour wind, but when it's being blocked by buildings and trees, it lessens a little bit. So just keep that in mind if you're going out in a baseball field or if you're going to go out in the woods or whatnot or a wide open plane. And as you can see, those trees are shaking. It's a constant wind here. And again, Flycool is uh, is a company. I'm starting to play with their batteries. They uh, they're kind of like partners with OBBEY. The batteries that I was messing around with and that I will continue testing. And both these companies, OBBEY and Flycool, they're manufactured elsewhere out of the United States, but they've shipped product into the United States and it's available on Amazon. There's no guesswork. You're not dealing with a third-party site. You're not dealing with customs. You're not dealing with out-of-quantity out of orders, and now that you already bought it, now you got to wait. And No. Go to Amazon. Amazon's trusted. Um, you can see how many they have left in stock. You can buy, buy them all up, and I'm sure if you do that, they'll ship more out into the United States ready for availability. If they have a lot in stock, you're probably not going to see what they have in stock because they have that large of quantity in here. But... Uh, OBBY, Flycool, both very well trusted by me and uh, should be trusted by you if you're going to order them because Amazon's well trusted all around the United States and I'm sure probably worldwide. Uh, so there's no issues there. If you're looking for extra batteries, if you're looking for extended flight time, Flycool is the way to go, OBBY is the way to go. Um, anything that I'm testing and I'm signing off on, I would say go ahead with. Uh, I was buying 
a lot from eBay, but then I got a scammer and uh, not so much anymore. Just because I don't want to have to deal with the back and forth. Amazon, I've got nothing bad from them, so I'm going to continue messing around with them unless I get a crazy, crazy deal on eBay that I can't turn down. And then a uh, crazy, crazy deal on eBay usually results into uh, too good to be true, and then it's generally too good to be true. That's what happened last time. I got something uh, that was supposed to fly a 1,000 feet, and crazy good deal. Bought it, snatched it up, got it home. It was used. It didn't fly, and wasn't too happy about that. But uh, we're just cruising around here by the Cadillacs trying to give you a different perspective point of view. Again, I don't really like the guys that stay in one field and bam, here's my here's my drone. I'm going to take it out. You're going to see a spec and that's that. No, I kind of like moving around with them, getting it right in my face just like that. And uh, giving you all type of perspectives, all types of views, different angles and whatnot. That to me is entertaining. That to me is visually stimulating and uh, makes for good video. And I'm sure some people like looking at the same thing over and over and over again. I myself don't, so I try to switch it up for you guys. You can see those crows are flying over. Really hope they don't come down at this guy. <laughs> crows are much larger than this drone. Although that'd be good video. I'd probably be out of drone, but I'd probably have some pretty sick video of a crow swooping down and picking it up. I'm going to go over here and try to play by the trees, which isn't always a smart idea, especially with wind blowing kind of forward left. So if I go the wrong way, it's probably going to take it and flop it, but no big deal there. Just kind of... I have my throttle barely pushed up because I don't want to go up upwards because then I'm in the tree leaves. So I'm kind of staying around the bottom of these trunks here. And right now, guys, we are pushing the uncharged flight time. When I stuck the bat when I took the battery out of the box, stuck it in this and flew it without charging it, that's where we're at right now. Anything over this is progress from that, but I would like to see at least two to three minutes. So we're at seven and a half. I'd like to see like nine and a half minutes. Another two minutes added on to this, that'd be good for me. I mean, that's the non charged flight time is average flight time for most drones, most manufactured drones. About six and a half to seven minutes. They got about seven, seven and a half minutes. Um, I'd like to see more than that. Because I don't think this battery was charged just because of my thoughts. You should not ship charged batteries because if they discharge, there's going to be an issue. As far as a malfunction discharge. Because the light bulb blowout extre emits extreme heat. Damn just about took off my head <laughs> although with this one it probably would have done nothing the drone probably would have actually hit the ground wouldn't have uh, suffered any abrasions so, uh, again this is a very tiny drone and that is a up toss where you lift from the top and you toss up and let go which with this drone no issues larger drones if you're not quick enough you'll nip your fingers be careful doing that with a larger drone Right now, guys, we are pushing the nine-minute mark. I'm happy with the battery. Nine minutes is a good flight time. Anything over this is uh, plus, plus, plus. And we got taken into the trees. <laughs> Did you see that? It was like front was towards me and then just like got whooshed back. A strong gust of wind. But we're back up in the air. No issues. Again, if you get in the trees, down throttle. Do not continue thr trying to throttle out. If you are stuck on something, continue to throttle out. You are going to burn out a motor. Then you'll have to replace the motor. And uh, with these little drones, they have a thousand little screws. So unless you like playing with a thousand little screws, I suggest throttling down when you crash in a tree. If you have any questions, guys, please ask questions in the comments. I have a link for my new group on uh, Facebook, Drone Days click on that you could ask questions there and uh, we'll try to get you the answers either way 
feel free to ask questions. I'm Jay Drone. This battery's probably just about kicked here, I would think. We're going to toss it up. And again, another up toss. Yeah, the battery's just about kicked. I'm over 10 minutes here, guys, on a charged battery. This is from Flycool. If you have not subscribed, please do. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.